Okay, war, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Mexico. If you rethink your approach, generals, you know if you're shooting too far, you lower the gun. If you're shooting too short, you might want to raise the gun. Right now, it's the time to change your focus, to change your approach. Dig it. By simply making a deal with Afghanistan and Mexico, which will happen in Act 12, our future world, the, the terrorists actually start playing, or not, not Act 12, but Act 10, and the terrorists start playing out in Act 9 going global. What we're going to do is buy their dope from them. And we're going to actually take that money that we get from them to allocate it towards mega projects that involve them. Because they don't they think it can't necessarily be trusted with the money to do it our way. So we're going to just say, look, you're going to give us this much. And it comes out to $2.5 billion a year, by the way, per. And it goes for Canada as well, but we don't have a war with Canada that I know of. <laughs> so $2.5 billion per year. And we're going to put their people to work on some mega projects. In Mexico's case, it's going to be the new American-Mexican Canal, which will also work as a giant border. Continue. Um, fire first responders, emergency smoke jumpers, all of you. There are special allocations for you. As you'll find in the MAMA, for example, fire personnel, there's actually a $25 million annual focus just for you using trickle-up economics. So if something happens in Fire District 403, if that's where the customer and business take place in 403, that money goes to 403. I know you get the idea. Parks, recreation, arts, which includes audio, visual, the whole nine yards. This was put in there um, in TOTS. It's supported by both the Papa and the Mama, mostly by the Papa. And when you guys hear the story about the League of Rockers in the city of Renton, it's going to probably piss you music teachers off most of all, and you music students in the city of Renton. Yeah, just think of Tim, or I think, what was his name? Danny Matthews? I don't remember his name. I'll look it up for you later on. The guy in charge of the school district. Okay, transportation, green power, and NASA. These are all major mega projects. The green power goes in with um, the energy self-sufficiency project known as TEST. NASA's budget, by the time this will be done, will be over $31 billion annually, more than it is now. And transportation, let's face it, we got public works apart projects across the country that need to be done while we're spending all of our money incarcerating people. So as we change these incarceration plans, as we quit building prisons, we can start fixing our roads, start fixing the piping, the plumbing, the electricity, how everything works, get more cameras on the freeway and all that nice stuff. So these are all ornaments on the tree in the Acts of Providence. Another one, all you nations pay attention because I know pretty much all of you have it. And if you don't have the problem, it's because you are the problem. It's illegal immigration. Illegal immigration. In the Acts of Providence, especially coming in the Papa, we're going hardcore after illegal immigrants, giving them three choices. They're real basic choices. Get your ass home before we catch you. You've got 90 days from the day this is acting in the law. Stick around, and once we arrest you, we will deport you once. You ever come back again, you get life without. Or become an American citizen in our case, or become a citizen of the other nation if you're over there. By having one of you adults in your family, allowing one adult, one adult spouse, and four biological children between the two of them, citizenship at the completion of the program, allowing one of you to join the armed forces. The intent is not to put you on the front line. It actually has to do with the Corps of Engineers and the Great African Canal, the new African Canal that's coming up. It's a way to um, bring camaraderie between nations while doing some good. Political pigs. You are the reason we need real accountability. You guys have just sold us out. Anybody out there in Washington State that's voting for Patty Murray voting for Maria Cantwell, Jay Ainsley, or the bunch. They just voted for that health care program. They just crammed that stimulus package through. Are you better off for that program or any of those programs? Are you better off bailing out those bankers? One of the bankers was whining, whining, 
because President Obama is going to cut his $38 million annual bonus down to $19 million. Yeah. Anybody out there voting Democrat in the next election, you're supporting that. These people don't support you. They support the party. Most of them didn't even get a chance to read the bill before it went before the House. I watched the whole thing. They didn't even get 2,700 pages or 2,074 pages, whatever. They didn't have a chance to read it. It was dumped on the desk. One congressman was out there throwing a box. I guess they used to put the bills in a box out front. And then everybody would have a chance to read it and rebut. Didn't even do that. It was a slam. And it was a shame. So political pigs, we're coming after you. And we consider you equal to pedophiles, including the pimp aspect of things. Pimps, pedophiles, political pigs, you're going to replace the potheads in prison. Welfare reform, absolutely. CPS, you're a disgrace. Adult Protective Services, you're a disgrace. And we're going to go through, that goes through accountability, bringing in law enforcement. We're going to actually audit your books. We're getting rid of the mental health care aspect as it's being ran now. And we'll come real hard onto that inside the papa as well. And then this whole thing, we're going global. If each nation participates, that means each nation's communities will have the same trickle-up economic mentality. Their monies will trickle up. So eventually the top does get fed. It gets fed through the roots so it stays green, it stays full, or it doesn't get all sick and start dying out. No, even the things underneath survive. It's an organic phenomenon that's allowed to stay. It's called an ecosystem. It's not raining blood. It's raining real money. It's the whole metamorphosis taking place. So we can go global, and what do we do that for? Once we get along with each other, and two, NASA. If each nation is dumping about 31 billion a year, thereabouts, you're talking a couple of hundred billion a year towards safe space exploration, pursuant to eventual colonization. In the meantime, there's equal money, once again, green power, going into the oceans and things of that sort. And I'm babbling. So, which tree do you want? Do you want the Obama tree, as is? Or maybe if President Obama would be kind enough to introduce the Acts of Providence and some trickle-up economics, we could have the trickle-up economics tree.